Well, listen up, Hammers. Now, we have the Sir Trevor Brooklyn stand, and it goes without saying the Bobby Moore. Now, surely it's time we all signed a petition to commemorate our legendary number four. He was born on the south side of the river, but you can't blame a man for the place of his birth. And after 27 years as both player and manager, he certainly showed us his worth. According to the song, he's six foot two and has eyes of blue. Of that, I'm not 100%. But I recently read he was bought for just 50 grand. In anyone's eyes, that was money well spent. To some, he was just a tough tackling hard man. But that does an injustice to the many positions in which he comfortably put in a shift. And we always knew that when the chips were down, we'd sing his name and Bonzo would give us a lift. He twice raised the FA Cup at Wembley to a grateful East London Assemble. And there were many who at this day swear that they felt the Twin Towers tremble. He never made the pitch as an international, just gaining splinters in his arse from the benches. But England's loss was West Ham's gain because he was a warrior, something he'd want by his side in the trenches. He wore our shirt more times than anyone else, testament to his undoubted ability. Finally hanging up his boots at 41, which speaks volumes of his fitness and agility. The progression from player to manager was the next step in Bonzo's career which was greeted warmly round Upton Park to a universal cheer. No one who was there will ever forget the early 90s, a semi-final at Villa Park. Keith Hackett sent off Tony Gow, unwittingly igniting a spark. As we all raised our voices in an effort to encourage the boys, Billy Bond's Claret and Blue Army, a deafening cauldron of noise. When they wanted him out, he was stabbed in the back, though they knew how he was loved and respected. But Harry was involved and he loves a pound oat, so I suppose it should have been expected. Our player and our leader, but such a humble man. Old oh, Billy Billy, I will always be a fan. So let's name a stand in his honour. The recognition would be fully deserved, ensuring for future generations that his memory will be eternally preserved. Our hero and our skipper Bonzo, his DNA is claret and blue. If not a stand, a statue, it's the least the club can do.